Hi everybody, it is time for math. Now yesterday we started a new concept called subtraction and we learned really quickly that is very different from addition. Because addition, when you add the two numbers together, the, the number you get is bigger. But subtraction, after you take away a number, the number gets smaller. So addition makes the number bigger, subtraction makes the number smaller. Now yesterday, we learned one method of subtraction, and that was using objects or a picture to solve for a subtraction problem. Today, we are going to use our fingers to show subtraction, okay? And I have another song that's gonna help us with subtraction, and I know you all know it because I think we read a book about it sometime earlier in the year. It's called Five Little Monkeys, okay? And every time a poor little monkey falls off the bed, we're gonna take away one finger, okay? Ready? Five little monkeys jumping on the bed. One fell off and bumped his head. Mama told the doctor and the doctor said, no more monkeys jumping on the bed. So we started with five. We took away one monkey. How many do we have left? Four, awesome job. Four little monkeys monkeys jumping on the bed. One fell off and bumped his head. Mama called the doctor and the doctor said, no more monkeys jumping off the bed. So we had four monkeys and we took away one because it fell off the bed. How many monkeys are left on the bed? Three, awesome job. Three little monkeys jumping on the bed. One fell off and bumped his head. Mama called the doctor and the doctor said, no more monkeys jumping on the bed. So we had three little monkeys. One fell off. How many monkeys are left on the bed? Two monkeys. Good job. Let's keep going. Two little monkeys jumping on the bed. One fell off and bumped his head. Mama called the doctor and the doctor said, no more monkeys jumping on the bed. So we had two little monkeys jumping on the bed. One fell off. How many do we have left? One. Ready? One little monkey jumping on the bed. He fell off and bumped his head. Mama called the doctor and the doctor said, no more monkeys jumping on the bed. So we had little, little monkey jumping on the bed. He fell off. How many are left? Zero. So you see how you can use your fingers to show a subtraction problem? Let's do three examples and then we'll get into our worksheet. So I want you to put up five fingers, okay? Can you put up five fingers for me? Awesome. Now I want you to take away three. One, two, three. See how I did that? So I start with five and I take away three. One, two, three. How many fingers, ooh, my one finger is not staying straight. How many fingers do I have left up? One, two. So five, take away three, is two. Awesome job. All right, put up your five fingers again. All right, I want you to take away zero fingers. Take away zero fingers. How many are left? Five. So five, take away zero, is five. All right, last one. Let's put up three fingers. All right, put up three fingers. I want you to take away three fingers. One, two, three. How many fingers do I have left? Zero. So three, take away three, is zero. 
Awesome job. So what I need you to grab is your 12.2 worksheet and a pencil. Okay. So we are going to subtract with our fingers. Now he is thinking in his head a number. So we're going to use that many fingers and then we're going to take away the number that they give us. So we're going to do the fourth. First four together. I think I combined first and four together to make forced. I don't know. So we're going to do the first four together. And then I want you to try, you guys, to try the last two by yourself. But first, let's get some practice. Okay. So he is thinking of the number one. Can you put up one finger for me? And how many fingers am I taking away? So it says one, take away zero. So how many fingers am I taking away? I am taking away zero. So what's my answer? How many fingers do I have left up? I have one finger left up. So one take away zero is what? One. Awesome. Oh my goodness. One take away zero is one. I'm going to erase that. Let's try that again. So one, take away zero is one. All right, now you're gonna help me with the next one. How many fingers am I putting up together? I'm gonna put up three. One, two, three. How, oh, I'll do it on this hand because I'm, I'm using my right hand for the mouse. So I have three, take away, Two. So how many fingers am I going to put down? I'm going to put down two. One, two. How many fingers do I have left? I have one. So write one on the line. Awesome job. See how easy it is to sew subtraction with our fingers? You guys are doing an awesome job. Okay, let's move on. How many fingers am I gonna put up for, well, how many fingers is this boy thinking of? He's thinking of five fingers. And how many am I gonna take away? I'm going to take away three. One, two, three. Oh my goodness, okay. One, two, three. There we go. Much better. How many fingers do I have left up? I have two. So you write two on line, and this shows us that five take away three is two. So five take away three is two. Good job. All right, last one together. <coughs> Sorry. How many fingers am I putting up first? I'm putting up four fingers. One, two, three, four. How many am I gonna take away? I'm gonna take away one. How many fingers do I have left, my friends? One, two, three. So put three on the line. So this picture shows us that four take away one is three. So I want you to do the last two by yourself. Remember, you start off with how many fingers he tells you, then you take away how many, and then you write how many fingers you have left on the line, okay? So I'm gonna pause the video. When you are ready, you can unpause. Let's check and see how you did. Okay, so he is thinking of the number five. So put up five handy dandy fingers. Now, how many is he taking away? See, he's got five. Take away five. So put down five fingers. Ready? One, two, three, four, five. How many fingers do I have left up? I have zero. So, 
five, take away five is zero. So five, take away five is zero. I'm just gonna give you a few moments to check your work. All right, let's do the last one together. How many fingers is this boy thinking of? He is thinking of four fingers. And how many are we going to take away? Four, take away four. So let's put down four fingers, ready? One, two, three, four. How many fingers do I have left? I have zero again. So this picture shows us that four, take away four, is zero. All right, I'm just gonna give you a second to check and fix any work. All right, great job doing the work with your fingers. Now what we are going to do is flip over to our fluency page and I'm gonna help you figure it out. So what they want us to do on this page, so it's fluency subtracting. What it wants us to do on the line, it doesn't want how many lollipops there are all together, that is addition. They want how many lollipops are left. So let's see how many they have all together. Ready? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So I put ten on the line. Nope, they don't want all lollipops together. They want to see how many lollipops are left. So you see how they crossed out some lollipops? We do not count them. Let's count the ones that are not X'd out. Ready? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So I'm going to write seven on the line because that's how many lollipops are not crossed out. So we're not going to write how many lollipops there are all together. We're not going to write the number of how many are crossed out. We're gonna write the number of how many are left over, okay? Now I want you to try the rest of the page by yourself and post your work below. Awesome job with subtraction again, and I will see you for our read aloud.